What if I told you that gender plays a huge role in shaping your dog's behavior and personality? Are female dogs really easier to train, or is it just a myth? Why are male dogs considered friendlier? And how do dogs choose their favorite person depending on gender? In this video, we'll uncover the key differences between male and female dogs. These differences mostly concern dogs that aren't spayed or neutered. Also, a dog's breed can heavily influence their behavior and personality traits. Let's kick things off with how dogs choose their favorite human, as there's a bit of a gender twist to it. Female dogs often pick their favorite based on who they see as their main caregiver. The person who feeds them, trains them, and basically meets all their doggy needs. On the other paw, male dogs are the life of the party, spreading their affection far and wide across the family tree, usually without playing favorites. Also, if you've ever had a male dog, you know they're not shy about demanding your love. They'll nudge, lean, and use every trick in the book to make you notice them. Female dogs prefer a more subtle approach. They might position themselves close to their preferred person or gently nudge them from time to time. Training When it comes to teaching our furry friends new tricks, it seems the boys and girls have their own styles as well. Let's start with the ladies. Female dogs often take the gold for being attentive students. They tend to lock in on their owners, soaking up commands and cues with a focus that can make training sessions smoother. Here's a pro tip. Female dogs might not be as motivated by food rewards as their male counterparts. They often value social rewards like praise and physical affection just as much, if not more. Now, on to the gents. Male dogs usually have a much shorter attention span, especially when there are distractions around. Another dog walking by? Squirrel in the yard? You've lost him. This doesn't mean male dogs are less intelligent, they just require a bit more patience and creativity during training sessions. Tasty treats can be your best ally here, along with keeping training sessions short and sweet to match their attention span. Getting along with other dogs Most animal behaviorists agree that male dogs are the social butterflies of the canine world. They thrive on group interactions and aren't shy about diving into a friendly roughhouse with just about anyone willing to join in. These interactions help them establish social hierarchies and understand their place in the doggy world. But it's not all about flexing muscles. Males often use play to make friends and find their best buds. On the flip side, female dogs approach their social lives with a bit more strategy. Think of them as the social chess players, forming smaller, more selective circles of friends. The way dogs establish and maintain these social connections also varies significantly between males and females. Males might rely on physical strength to assert dominance or establish social order. It's straightforward and, well, pretty transparent. Females, however, are the masters of subtlety in the social hierarchy game. They might use body language, control over resources, or even social alliances to navigate their social world. Getting along with other people Male dogs often wear their hearts on their sleeves, or more accurately, their tails. They're usually the ones who will bound up to you, eager to make friends and shower you with affection. This immediate, no-holds-barred friendliness can make male dogs come across as more approachable, especially to strangers. On the flip side, female dogs might take a more reserved approach when it comes to new encounters. They might hang back a bit, sizing you up and deciding whether you're worthy of their trust and affection. This doesn't mean they're any less friendly, they're just more cautious about who they show their friendly side to. Once a female dog decides you're okay in their book, they can be just as affectionate and loyal. Here's a fun fact. In a study conducted back in 1986, researchers found that while female dogs were a tad hesitant to approach unfamiliar people, male dogs showed a clear preference for women. The researchers speculated that men might appear more intimidating to dogs, influencing their approachability. Playfulness Male dogs often embody the term rough and tumble. They tend to enjoy play that involves more physicality, such as wrestling, chasing, and play fighting. 
If you've got a male dog, you might notice they have a particular fondness for toys that encourage this kind of physical interaction, like balls for chasing or tug ropes that allow them to test their strength. Female dogs, on the other hand, might approach playtime with a bit more strategy. They often prefer play that engages their minds as well as their bodies. Puzzle toys, interactive games, and toys that can be carried or nurtured appeal to their innate problem-solving skills and caregiving behaviors. Despite these general tendencies, individual personalities play a huge role in what types of play a dog prefers. You might find a male dog who loves solving puzzles just as much as a female dog that can't get enough of fetch. The key is to offer a variety of play options to see what really gets your dog's tail wagging. Aggression. First up, male dogs. It's not a myth. Statistically, male dogs are more likely to show aggression. This aggression often stems from a cocktail of hormonal influences and the deep-seated need to assert dominance or claim territory. Male dogs might also display more aggression towards other males, particularly when there's a female in heat nearby. But here's a twist. Aggression doesn't always mean hostility. In many cases, it's a form of communication, a way for dogs to express discomfort or assert control in a situation they find threatening. For male dogs, neutering can significantly reduce these aggressive tendencies, mellowing them out and making them less likely to roam or get into scraps over territory or mates. Now let's talk about female dogs. Their aggression is often less about territory and more about protection. Female dogs may show a protective streak, especially if they believe their puppies or human family members are under threat. This protective aggression is more selective, targeting specific threats rather than displaying a broad territorial aggression. Interestingly, female dogs might employ more subtle forms of aggression or dominance, using body language and psychological tactics rather than outright physical confrontation. This could range from withholding affection to assert dominance, to more passive-aggressive behaviors aimed at maintaining their status within the pack. Parental instincts. Female dogs, for starters, are the epitome of maternal instinct. Females are known to be incredibly protective and nurturing, often stepping into the role of guardian for both their puppies and even human children. Now, on to the males. Male dogs, in general, tend to display a rather indifferent attitude towards puppies. Surprisingly, this is a very different behavior from male wolves, where fathers play an active role in raising their young. Father wolves are known for their dedication, bringing food for the mother and pups, and fiercely protecting their family. Despite their apparent lack of interest in parenting, male dogs can still play a role in the social development of puppies. Through play and interaction, male dogs can teach puppies important lessons about social boundaries and the physical skills they need to thrive. And then there's the fascinating world of canine genetics, where a litter of puppies can have multiple fathers. This biological wildcard adds another layer to the complex social dynamics within the dog world, making the concept of fatherhood even more nuanced. Recent studies have uncovered something incredible that dogs do for us. Check out this video, where we talk about 10 things your dog does for you without you realizing it. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our doggy-loving community.